Hello, you are most welcome. I'm teacher Ivan from Wuna Educational Services. Today we shall be looking at linear motion. Before we look at linear motion, please subscribe to all our YouTube channels so that you catch up with our daily lessons. That is Teacher Ivan's online class, Wuna e-learning platform, and Wuna kids platform. We also have Facebook pages and groups under the same titles, that is Teacher Ivan's online classes, Wuna e-learning platform, Wuna kids platform, we have Wuna science discussion, and Wuna Educational Services. Please like and follow our pages and also join our groups so that you catch up with the lesson notes and the revision questions that are posted every day. Otherwise, linear motion means motion in a straight line. And we have terms that we use in linear motion. Terms such as distance, which is the length between two fixed points. We have displacement, which is the distance moved in a specific direction. We also have speed, which is the rate of change of distance. We have velocity, which is the rate of change of displacement. We have acceleration, which is the rate of change of velocity. We have uniform velocity, which is the constant rate of change of displacement. And also uniform acceleration, which is the constant rate of change of velocity. We have the equations of a uniformly accelerated motion, but what is a uniformly accelerated motion? A uniformly accelerated motion is that motion in which the velocity of a body changes by equal magnitude in equal time intervals. So let us generate the equations of a uniformly accelerated motion. We shall consider a body moving in a straight line with uniform acceleration A, which increases its velocity from U to V in time T. From acceleration which is the rate of change in velocity that means that acceleration equals to change in velocity over the time which is final velocity minus initial velocity over time t and if we make Final velocity v the subject, we shall have v equaling to u plus at. And that is our first equation of a uniformly accelerated motion. Then we come to the distance traveled by the body. The distance traveled by the body will be given by the product of the average velocity and the time taken. That is to say, distance traveled S equals to the average velocity, which is final plus initial over 2 times the time taken. But the final velocity V is given by U plus AT. So when we substitute, we shall have S equaling to U plus AT plus U over 2 times time T. 
we add u to u so that we get 2u plus 80 times t over 2 which finally brings us to the second equation which is s equaling to ut plus a half at squared that is our second equation of a uniformly accepted motion still from the second equation which is s equals to ut plus a half at squared And we saw that V equals to U plus A T. Therefore, from the first equation, we can make it the subject and substitute in the second equation to get the third equation. We use the first equation to get T, which is V minus U over A. And we substitute for t in the second equation, which is s equals to ut plus a half a t squared. Hence, we shall have s as u into v minus u over a plus a half a into v minus u over a squared. So once we simplify this, we shall come up with the, our third equation, which is v squared equals to u plus c a t. So that is how we generate our equations of f of a uniformly accelerated motion. Thank you. We meet in our next episode where we shall be looking at the examples. Bye-bye.